Welcome to Oxman Garage and today I'm going to show you how to time a Gen 2 Mustang Coyote motor. Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to be showing you how to time a Gen 2 Mustang Coyote motor. So basically follow along and we'll go step by step for the uh, the Ford manual. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to clock the crankshaft and the the keyway is in the 5 o'clock position. Make sure when you're turning your crankshaft you want to be going in a clockwise motion. If you have this uh, crankshaft key tool, it's very helpful. If not, you can put the crank bolt in there to turn it as well. Alright, so I'm going to be putting the uh, the crankshaft sprocket on. You always want to make sure you get the right part. And uh, I bought the MMR forged piece here. And uh, make sure when you're putting it on, you want to match it with a Gen 2. Make sure the timing marks are in the same position. So you want to put that on now. Make sure you put some oil on it too so it slides on. All right, so now you want to install your lash adjusters or lifters and your roller followers or rockers, whatever you want to call them. Usually you want these, your lifters, to soak in oil for a good 24 hours before you install them. In fresh, clean engine oil. So when you install this, you can do it two ways. You can put it, put it on like this. It'll snap and hang, and you can install it just like this. Or you can put in your lash adjuster or lifter in first, and then install your roller rocker. So it's up to you. So now you want to do that. Just a quick tip. When you're putting the rollers on, you want to make sure that it's lined up on the valve stem. If you put it off to the side like that and it's not lined up and you put your camshaft on, you're going to have a bad time and have engine damage. So make sure it's lined up nicely on there. All right, guys, so you want to make sure we're starting on the left side head first when we start the procedure. All right, so now you want to put your camshafts on, but before you put camshafts on, you want to put some assembly lube on all the cam journals here, and you're going to be very liberal. Get oil on there, on the camshafts, and on the top of the caps. All right, so once you got your camshafts in, you want to put them in the, the neutral position. And um, I'll show a picture of the neutral positions that you want them to be in. Alright, so now I'm installing the uh, MMR's secondary tensioner. So basically this is the orientation on the Coyote Mega Cap. You're basically going to take this guy out right here. You're going to want to push on the bottom. These little O-rings are catching it. It's going to come out just like that. Okay, and you just want to clean it off. Then put fresh oil on there. On the O-rings right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to reverse it from the bottom. And then make sure that this right here is deburred. Make sure it's not sharp. Which I already did that. And then push it all the way in. Here, now it's seated. Now this guy right here is going to go right on top. Right there. And then your bolt holes should go through. And then your, well uh, this bottom guy is going to go right on here, which was on the top. Right there. That's how you put that on. Okay, so you want to put your uh, cam caps on. You want to put your single ones on first. And then you want to put your 
mega cap or main cap on second. Don't tighten these down yet. Just you want to finger tight them down. And then just remember that these cam caps are all in order. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can't mess these up because these caps have numbers on them. And they have an arrow that's pointing towards the front of the engine. And on the back, you have these little slots here is a large diameter and a smaller diameter. So you can't mess up the orientation of these. So these little curves right here are going to be pointing down. All right, so now you want to torque down all your bolts. So after these are nice and snug, finger tight, you want to use your inch pound torque wrench and you want to tighten these bolts to 53 inch pounds. And then after that, you want to use your angle dial indicator and you want to do 45 degrees. So like that. And then uh, I'll have a, a diagram right after this video showing you the torque sequence. All right, make sure you install your uh, your camshaft oil filters. Okay, so now you want to install your VCT gears. And this is the orientation that you want them in. This one here with the gear out here is the exhaust gear. And this one here is your intake. Over here, you want your timing mark on the one colored link right there. And then your intake here, this guy's going to have the two colored links. And what's going to happen is this is going to get flipped around and it's going to get put right on there. All right, once you got your gears on, you just want to put in your VCT bolts and you just want to line them up with those three holes uh, on the face of the camshaft and uh, you just want to snug these down you don't want to you don't want to tighten them down and then you want to make sure when you're putting it on if you're not using the MMR bracket you just do that 90 degrees up here with that tensioner that's on the bottom and then slip the chain over if you're using the MMR bracket I uh, use the zip tie and you just want to make sure the bottom is nicely seated on that that pad so then after you got this on, you just want to make sure that this is on there correctly. And then you're going to, um, you're going to tighten down these bolts. You're going to torque them down to 133 inch pounds. And then you're going to do 90 degrees. All right, so you're going to put your primary chain on. You're just going to work it around the gear and down to the crank. On the exhaust gear, you're going to see this dark colored link. It's going to go right on the L. I if you can see that. So then, work. There we go. And then here on the bottom, here's going to be a timing mark right on top. And that other dark colored link is going to go right there on top. All right, so you want to put your guides on. You got your bottom guide here. And then your top guide. Uh, this bolt right here, you want to... Torque this down to 89 inch pounds, and this one doesn't have a bolt, it just swivels on there on that pin right there. All right, guys, so I'm going to be compressing the uh, chain tensioner now. For years, um, Ford has always been teaching us to put your chain tensioner in a vise. I'm just showing you, you can either do it by hand or put it in a trigger clamp, and you can just put this in a trigger clamp if you have one at home. And then just compress it that way. And then just put in your pen. And do it all. So another another way to think outside the box. Alright, so now you got your uh Get your chain tensioner in. You want to torque these two bolts to 89 inch pounds. And then once it's on there, you just want to pull your pin. 
Okay, so then you want to rotate the crankshaft one revolution, and then you want to turn it again until the keyway is at 12 o'clock. All right, so your next step is to do the same thing you did on the left side driver's head. You're going to put your lash adjusters in. You're going to put your roller rockers in. You're going to put your camshafts in. And when you do that, you're going to put them in their neutral position. And the neutral position for these, these larger D slots are kind of towards the bottom, but kind of off to the side. Uh, I'll put a uh, diagram picture showing the orientation of the can shafts. And then you're going to tighten down all your cam caps. So it's basically the same thing on the other side, except the, the slots are in a uh, different orientation. All right, so you're going to be putting your VCT gears on. This is the exhaust side. And on this side, it has the one colored link for its uh, timing mark. And then on the intake side, it's got the two colored links in the, on its uh, timing mark. So this thing's going to get flipped around like this and get put on like that. All right, so once you got this on here, remember this guy right here on the tensioner, he's gonna be 90 degrees when you're slipping him on. And remember, there's this beveled edge on here, and you'll know when this lines up um, that it needs to be on this side facing the front of the engine. All right, so you wanna put your uh, VCT bolts on, and these are same thing on the other side, 133 inch pounds and then 90 degrees. Okay, so now you want to put your chain on and your right link, your right timing mark is right here on this colored link that's on top. And then down here you can kind of see the timing mark right there. That colored link is going to go there. So if you need to use your... Uh, your crank tool to uh, move the crankshaft a little bit so you can uh, ease up slack on the chain but make sure you return the keyway back to 12 o'clock all right and next you want to put your uh, your guides on and this uh, bolt right here gets torqued to 89 inch pounds and then you want to put your chain tensioner on and this it gets bolted the same over here 89 inch pounds and then you want to pull your pin and then you just want to check uh, the tension on the chain and you should be good and um, that's how you time a uh, Gen 2 Mustang Coyote motor. If you have any questions uh, comment below and uh, this is uh, Josh with Oxman Garage. See you later.